Hello comrades, today I will be continuing to cover the basic human rights and their violation by the capitalist countries. Today we'll be covering the right for housing. Housing seems to be a big problem in a lot of capitalist countries and Belgium is not an exception. Just a quick search on Google provides us with the names of big cities like Ghent and Brussels. While some articles try to prove otherwise, the reality looks grim in those cities. Beggars are roaming the streets and cannot participate in society. But why is that so? There is social housing in Belgium, right? Yes, there is, but no, there is not enough. In fact, someone who requests social housing now will need to wait for years to get it. The students and young adults also have difficulties. The purchasing power of a Belgian citizen didn't rise for at least a decade, but the property and rental prices did. After a quick search you will be able to conclude that buying an apartment can cost you nearly, if not more, than buying a house. You might ask yourself, what is the quality of the provided social housing in Belgium? Is it so good that you need to wait years for it? If you look at the statistics, the quality of social housing was quite good back in 2005. However, it started to deteriorate afterwards and still is up to this very moment. A possible explanation can be the strengthening of right-wing influence and budget cuts issued by center-right government after 2005. Currently, we don't have a government because both left and right wings came out pretty strong after the last year's elections. Yes, we didn't have a government for an entire year. The center is quite fractured and is joining either either the left or the right wing, but neither camp is in the majority. For the citizens of Belgium it means a long period of uncertainty, untackled problems, declining quality of life and rising poverty. Some might ask questions like, who are those homeless people? Aren't they just addicts and lazy people? Now, if every lazy person and or an addict was homeless, then the majority, if not whole, the capitalist class would be without a home. Turns out the majority of the homeless are migrants denied or unseen by the European Union. They become homeless out of fear to be sent back to their countries. There were and still are cases of people being sent back, even if the migrants in question uh, lived here for years, learned the language, had a job and could provide education for their children. The law doesn't help the homeless as well. For example, here is an extract from a study which covered the indirect effects on the, on the homeless people by the law. Skipping the practice of sifting through commercial or residential trash to find items that have been discarded by their owners, but that may, be, may prove useful to the skipper, is considered a crime. Actively begging is prohibited and those who form groups and live in parks are being forced to leave by the police. Instead of fixing the problem, the far-right parties claim that poverty is the fault of immigrants who came to Belgium to steal jobs, wealth and housing from the natives. This type of xenophobic and discriminating propaganda was very popular and well received during the migration crisis caused by the violent actions of religious terrorists, the ISIS. The amounts of people who need housing are spectacularly rising and nothing is being done by the authorities. The law enforces, property owners and politicians think more about their own profit than the people's future. By ignoring the rising poverty and homelessness, they violate the human right for housing. What is to be done? The only way I see is organizing housing on local scale. This means that the communities will be responsible for housing their people, not some minister who never contacted the people in question, let alone provided active help. If housing is done by the people of a community, not a representative by the way, then the said housing will be of better quality, available to all and affordable to all, because it is from the people to the people and by the people. That's all I have for today. Next time I will be covering healthcare in capitalist countries. Thanks for listening and we'll be seeing each other soon.